the integral of cosine of the square root of t over the square root of t dt. Now, the beautiful thing about u substitution is it allows us to simplify things. So we can simplify the square root of t into a u. So let u equal to the square root of t, which is basically e to the power of 1 over 2. Then we differentiate it, so du over dt. That's going to be 1 over 2 times t to the power of negative 1 over 2. That's basically 1 over 2 square root of t. So this means 2 times the square root of t du is going to be equal to dt. Let's go ahead and substitute it back into this integral. So we have the integral of cosine of u over the square root of t, which is also u. And how about this dt here? Well, dt is 2 times the square root of t times du. So 2 times the square root of t times du. And notice that we also have another square root of t here, which we can turn it into a u. So what we're going to do here is cancel out this u with this u, and we end up with the integral of cosine of u. And we're going to move this 2 outside of the integral because it is a constant. And then we have the du, the antiderivative of cosine of u. And it will be sine of u plus c. So we have 2 times sine of u plus c, which gives us 2 times sine of the square root of t. So sine of the square root of t plus c.